Now that ABCD have their lockbox, they need to fund it. A lockbox can accept funds the same as any wallet. You can click on Send Bitcoins, and then click on the address book, and then from this lower part of the screen, select Lockboxes. We can choose the lockbox and click on the lockbox button here, and then fund it as we would any wallet. We could also click on the lockboxes button and then choose the lockbox we wish to fund. Now down in this lower part we have a number of options for funding, including clicking on the Request Payment button. On this window we can see, as well as providing the address for funding the lockbox, there is also a clickable link created that can be sent to a recipient or posted onto a web page. All of this is the same as for a wallet. However, now we also have an option for creating a promissory note, which will allow a number of participants to fund the lockbox only if all agree to do so. Let's see how our ABCD organization would do this if they are all to agree to put 0.1 bitcoins into the lockbox. What they want to happen is they each contribute 0.1 bitcoins, but only if they all do. They don't want the situation where one doesn't. Let's start with Alice's view. She would check the box labeled SIMUL, which is short for SIMUL funding, which means funding from a number of parties simultaneously. This is often used when there is not the same level of trust between all parties. In Armory, Alice has her own wallet, but she also has a watching-only version of Bob's wallet. This means she can create the promissory note for the two of them. To do this, she chooses the lockbox and clicks on Merge Promissory Note. And now clicks on Create and Add Promissory Note. She can choose which wallet the funds will be drawn from. Remember, this will only happen when everyone is committed. Alice gives the promissory note a title, Alice's Contribution, so it will be recognizable later when it is being passed around to be signed. The amount Alice's funding goes here, which is 0.1 bitcoins. There only needs to be one transaction fee. In this case, Alice will be generous and promises to fund the transaction fee. The standard is 0.0001 bitcoin. She clicks Continue. Now she can add Bob's information. She clicks on Create and add promissory again. This time she chooses Bob's watching only wallet. Enters the label for this part, which will be Bob's contribution, which will show up on the note when distributed. She enters the amount to come from Bob's wallet, or 0.1 bitcoins. She does not need to add the transaction fee information, and now she can click continue. We can see now that Alice and Bob have their notes combined. What Alice needs now is for the others to send in their promissory notes, which she would then import by clicking this import button. The information could come from the others as a file or just text. Let's look at how Carol would do this. First, she clicks on the lockboxes button, then checks the simul box. She selects the lockbox to fund, and then will click on Create Promissory Note. Just like Alice was doing, she will add her information, Carol's Bitcoins. Now she enters the amount, which they had agreed to, 0.1 Bitcoins. Carol does not need to include the transaction fee, as Alice is picking up that tab. When she clicks Continue, she has the Promissory Note data, which she can save as a file and send. However, Carol chooses to just copy the text and then pastes it into an email that she sends to Alice. So now we can go back to Alice and see what she does now. Let's assume that as well as Carol, Dave has also sent a similar note via email. First, Alice can paste in Carol's note and then click on Done. Now we can see that there are three contributors. This is why it is good to include the label as it makes this more readable for all concerned. All we need is Dave's information. Dave sent that over in an email. Alice can copy the text. 
Now she can import this information and paste it into this area and click on Done. Here we see we now have all four notes merged into one. It was obviously easier for the others if Alice had the watching only wallets of them all, but that may not always be possible. Now they are all combined, she can click Continue. This is where the transaction can now be signed. The information shows the amounts each contributor is committed to, and there are also these keyhole symbols indicating the state of the signatures. Green with a button next to it means you are able to sign. Alice is able to sign her section by clicking on the button. Now it turns black with a check mark, so that payment is locked in. The white keyhole means it is not signed yet. So this transaction needs to be passed on to the other contributors for their signature. This is done by clicking on the Export button. This is the data for the transaction which can be saved as a file and sent, or just copied and sent as text in an email. There is no private information included, so it is safe to send in this manner. It can also be sent to all of the contributors at once. It does not need to be passed from one to another. Let's assume Alice has sent this off as an email to Bob, Carol, and Dave. Let's go over to Bob's Armory instance to see from his perspective. Here is Bob's Armory. He clicks on the lockbox button and then checks the simul box. Now he clicks on the Review and Sign button. Here he pastes the text he received in the email and clicks Done. Now he can sign his portion by clicking on the Sign button. Now he can export this copy and send it back to Alice. The other option is that he could also forward it on to Carol for her to add her signature. It is just up to the group what their preferred process is. Let's assume Carol and Dave have done the same thing and head back to Alice's Armory to see them combined. From the lockbox screen, Alice can open the Collect Signatures screen. Depending on how the signatures were sent to her, she can either load from a file or paste in the text. This is the text received from Bob. If she clicks Done, then we can see both Alice and Bob have signed. If she clicks on Import Merge, she can now add the text from Carol. She first copies it from, say, an email pastes it to the screen, and clicking Done, we now see we have Carol's signature added. Just as a reminder, even at this point, no funds have left anyone's wallet. No money can move until the last signature is added and broadcast, at which time all funds are transferred simultaneously. If Alice doesn't finish this process, it will be as if nothing ever happened and everyone will be free to spend the money elsewhere. So if Alice does this one more time, we can have Dave's signature added as well. Click on Import Merge, paste his block, click on Done. At this point, all have agreed, and the transaction is complete. Now we are able to broadcast this transaction which is the only time funds will be removed from the contributor's wallets into the lockbox. After a while, we can see that this transaction has been confirmed.